First of all, we create a new project for example with the project name, extra checkout fields. Fill in all required fields such as, short name, project URL, short description and author fields. Then click the Save Changes button. The second step, activate the project that we have created. And in order for WordPress to recognize the plugin, we have to save the fields on the README page. The third step, we go to the WordPress dashboard page, and activate the plugin that we have created. The fourth step, we will create additional fields on the checkout menu. Go to third-party APIs, and click Woo Checkout Fields menu. Then click Add New WooCommerce Checkout Fields. Then fill in the required fields and the fields to be added. For example, here. We are going to create a field with the name WhatsApp. To test it, open the product checkout page in WordPress, the WhatsApp field should appear in the buy. To move the position to shipping, you can simply change the position option to shipping. Or if we want to move the order data position, we change the position options to orders. Let's test by checking out and see the results on the WordPress dashboard.